All right, so wouldn't it be nice to view all your Make the Cut files as a little image preview? Well, Make the Cut has came out with a free MTC file thumbnail viewer. Now, this is probably one of the most requested features to have because before this viewer came out, you'd actually have to either place a PNG export next to your Make the Cut file, or you'd have to actually go in the Make the Cut program and view them one by one. Now, something to note, this viewer, as of right now, only works with Windows Vista 7 and Windows 8. Now, it does not work for Windows XP. However, maybe in the future, the creators of Make the Cut will probably try to make this work in XP. But keep in mind, XP is an old operating system. You know, it's over 10 years old as it debuted in 2001. And another thing to note, this is a totally separate installer. You do not need to update or upgrade your Make the Cut in order to take advantage of this. So if you're still rocking a 3.2.1, this is a safe download and you can use it to view your Make the Cut files. All right, so this little add-on has a little more features than just the preview window. And in this video, we're going to show you what those features are. And towards the end of this video, we're going to go ahead and show you how you can install this for yourself so you can view all your MTC files as well. All right, so basically this is a viewer that's giving you just a little preview, little screenshot of everything that you have set as visible on your mat, on all your Make the Cut files. And this works in all versions of Make the Cut files, all the way from 1.0 to current. Now I'm previewing these thumbnails in just a normal Windows Explorer window. The same window that you would use if you were previewing JPEGs or bitmap images that you have on your computer. Now it's by design by giving you as much detail about that MTC file by simply glancing at the thumbnail preview. Alright, so by the green mat in the thumbnail actually helps with the confusion of you thinking that it's an actual JPEG or bitmap image. So you know if you double click that preview with the green mat, it will open up and make the cut. So another detail you can get by simply looking at the preview is the matte orientation. Now you can tell if the MTC file was saved in landscape or portrait. You just have to look for those thicker lines. Now if it's on the top and bottom, you know the file was saved in portrait. And if the fatter lines are on the sides, it was saved in landscape. All right, so next I want to bring your attention to the number of dots. Now the number of dots tells you how many pages there are within that MTC file. As you can see with the warm and cozy pages file that I have here, it has more dots than the one next to it. So if I were to select it, you can see over here in the sidebar preview that it has two pages, and you can click the button next and previous. Likewise, if I go to the ZooPals pages file, you'll see that it has five dots. And as you can see in the preview window, I can click next, 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 all the way up to five. So that's pretty neat. Now the thumbnail preview does update when you happen to update your make the cut file as you can see here. I'm going to go ahead and change this file by moving this piece to over here. I'm going to go ahead and hit the save button and you'll notice that it reflects in the thumbnail preview. Now if you're wondering if this viewer works with files that are contained within a zipped folder, uh, this does not work with that. You'll have to actually extract the zip folder in order to view the previews of the MTC files. Right, so next we're going to show you how to install and download this. Uh, in order to download it, you'll have to go to the Make the Cut website and click the download button. There you'll find the free MTC file thumbnail viewer and you're going to go ahead and click the download button. Once you have downloaded it, you can go ahead and double click to install and just go through the install process. All right, so once the installation is complete, we will need to run the disk cleanup utility, and that can be found under the start button. Then you'll need to go to the accessories, and then you need to go to system tools, and there you will find the disk cleanup button. You want to click that, and it will start that disk cleanup application. It may take a few minutes to appear, but once it does, then we want to make sure that we scroll all the way down to where it says thumbnails, and we want to make sure that that option is actually checked and then we can hit the OK button. Now once you hit OK, there'll be a little window that appears and it will say, would you like to permanently delete these files? And you're going to hit OK. All this is doing is it's clearing the cached image of those files so that we can start fresh with the MTC viewer. So all right, we have just one more step in order to make this MTC viewer work properly. We need to either A, reset, or B, just log off and log back on. So in my case, I'm just going to simply log off and log back in. 
Okay, so once you're logged back in, you can go ahead and open up the folders that have your make the cut files in them, and you should automatically start seeing them change from the old MTC file look to the new MTC viewer look. Now, if you're someone that has thousands and thousands of MTC files, you're going to have to give this thing time in order to index. As you can see, I'm scrolling down and it's automatically refreshing or repopulating the make the cut file with the image. But once the index is complete, I'm sure you'll be happy with the results. It's a great new addition to the Make the Cut system. And I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial and overview of the Make the Cut file viewer. So make sure you leave a comment or a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video tutorial. I'll see you next time.